morning, good morning, good morning. I hope everybody had a good weekend. It is Monday. And we are after it. got this old girl loaded up we're here to get it dropped off I've got a, barely made it through his gate I've got a back in between that granite drop the trailer on the asphalt get the machine off move it over there we hit this right here trying to get through his gate that's how close we were we barely missed trailer but this right here clipped the gate bent it just a little bit huh yeah good go ahead and move that you think we need to move that or yeah we get on this side? all right let's try it oh stressful morning use two different gps's and it sent me to two different places <laughs> hey, I'll be ready to get this one unloaded. Well, oh God, we got out of there. You saw he had us back up on that concrete. Well, I don't think I filmed it. I didn't film a lot of that. I was, I was a nervous freaking wreck when I pulled up and saw the gate I had to get through. <laughs> Dang. We barely got through it. But we got through it. And then I had to back up in between all that granite with just inches on each side of the trailer. On top of that concrete slab. I told them the slab might break and it broke. So I can't help it. He had the forklift had to go on the slab because it won't run on that grass so it just gets stuck it's one of those hard tire forklifts with no tread it may have used to have tread I don't know either way we're out of there I've got my check hope everybody's happy 
and he can make some money moving ground around, I reckon. But we're headed on to the next one right here on 471. Big long road goes to the middle of the woods where you actually end up losing the cell service. I'm going to work on calming down here because that was stressful. And we'll get back on track. All right, we're on our third one meeting. We already delivered our second one. See those cones in the middle of the road? That's where we loaded that one. I found this little spot here on the way in just now. It looks a way lot more better. So we're gonna load up out here. I'm so glad to have a little space in between me and them guys. We were standing on that white line in that turn lane. Woo! Mercy. This is a lot better. I need to set this camera down and get chains. They're already on the way. got to cross the road we're on this stinking hill he'll probably go right here maybe don't know if he will or not Keep going see if we can slow him down a little bit without getting run over what the hell we were just trying to slow him down I don't know what he's doing. As long as he knows. He thinks I wanted him. I was just trying to slow you down. We had to. Oh, well, <laughs> Everything's fine. No, we're good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank oh, you. All you. right, man. I appreciate it. Have a good day. situation earlier. I'm crazy for some of it or just I don't know how to say it some of it just too dang dangerous and fast pace I guess would be a good 
good word for it, good term. But we're gonna grab this little dozer and uh, get it relocated. Oh, look at them tracks. Ow. Rut row. Oh. Where's that radio? It'll crank now. They just still had her in the go gear. That's all. Woo! Right there. Straight as a crooked arrow. Yeah, let's get down here uninjured. There we go. Last one of the day, we got to break out all the flags. That's okay.
I can see through that back window or not. the curb this time good they're gonna have to replace it's already tore up from other trucks but I'm gonna be easy on my rubber Got a little more behind me. That pretty hard down there. We'll, we'll call that good. <laughs> I don't want to start spinning either. <laughs> All right, almost, almost, almost.
I'm tired. My brain is tired. Holy crap, y'all. Somebody stole my Suburban. It's gone. <laughs> Pops came out here and picked it up. Drove it to the shop. Sorry about that battery died on me. No, the Suburban's not stolen. But it might as well be. The air conditioner quit. <laughs> Pops came out here and got it picked up for me. Brought it to the shop. Shop just called. They said, good news, $1,500. We'll have it fixed. So, 1,500 bucks it is. It's got dual air conditioners and the, the uh, evaporator, I think he said, in the rear air conditioner quit working. So, get her fixed as fast as you can, as far as I can say, because we don't play that no AC stuff. I'm not that young any longer. What we are doing is transferring, transferring all of our stuff to the Mac because the Mac has an oil leak and the part came in. So we're gonna drive this to town and get your ride from the diesel mechanic shop. Let's go. Let's go in here and see what the heck's going on. Oh, what's wrong with that thing? Oh. Ain't nothing going on. No wonder all these cars are sitting around. Well, what in the world? I'm like, I need yeah. more light in here so I can film you. <laughs> hey, look who's here. What's up? Pops. Doing what he normally does. Sitting around doing nothing. Sitting on his ass. Yep. Sorry. What are you doing with this thing? Gluing the valve cover gasket on. What was wrong with it? It rolled and it was leaking. It was out the front around the cam. Oh, really? Yeah, they all do it. They're a pain in the butt. But, uh, I have to. Oh, my man. All right, Pops, give everybody an update on the knee. It hurts. Yeah. It's fine. It's working. I got, a, got stitches out. I'm ready to roll. Ready to get back in the truck? I'm ready to get back in the truck. You're, uh, getting bored of watching, uh, Days of Our Lives? Uh, no, I've moved up on that. Oh, you've gone yeah. up to uh, Dallas? Dallas and a couple more. <laughs> Real nice ones. You, you must be watching on, uh, what's that, old television channel, TN? Old, old people's, old people's <laughs> movies. Old people's network. <laughs> like, uh, I Love Lucy and all them. Oh, man, you're reaching Beverly the Beverly Hillbillies. You got to be bored. Oh, yeah. You got out of the house a little bit today, though, didn't you? I've been out all day. Feeling good. I went to, uh, I went and done my therapy. I told Linda to go with me because I was going to go get your car. Yeah. And when I took her home a while ago. She says, I ain't going to play with you no more. <laughs> <laughs> this has been an all day project. Just go get Chris's truck and get it up back up here. <laughs> I said, hey, that's the way it, works, the way it rolls. Well, we've only been in the truck three minutes together, and I'm already. Uh, you ready to get out? Ready to get out, yeah. Why? I'm that bad of a driver? No, I'm just kidding with you, pops. <laughs> <laughs> well, there he is. Y'all been asking. Got his knee replaced. He's doing good. He's behind the wheel. Ready to go. We brought the Mac up here to get the oil leak fixed because uh, pops gonna drive the Mac. So. But other than that, our day is over with, or mine is at least. I think he's still got a few hours. I don't know. <laughs> we'll put him to work doing something. No, I'm almost done. Oh, are you? Okay. He's done too. Yeah. Anyway, we'll see you all tomorrow.